Blake, we'll be watching that. It's important stuff there. Blake Berman at the White House. Joining us right now, former Republican presidential candidate, Fox News contributor Herman Cain. Herman, it's good to see you, sir. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Before you get started, yeah. where are my pancakes? <laughs> Y'all had those We've big stack, stack of pancakes for there. You. I know. All my pancakes. Good Go ahead, Maria. Good question, Herman. Everyone. You are right. We have a stack. We're, we're sending a stack to your home. We'll tell IHOP. Thank you. We're, we'll get IHOP <laughs> on the case. What do you think needs to be done here, Herman? I don't know if you heard our interview earlier this morning with Louis Gohmert from Freedom Caucus, who basically said, ah, he's not going to vote for Nick. He's, you know, it's, it, why should we uh, affect people's rights? But the, the Democrats are saying they want more. So where do you stand on this? The Democrats always want more, which is why nothing ever gets passed. But here's what most of the people babbling about this are missing. We need more enforcement, not more laws, but we need to tighten up the laws that are already on the books. Secondly, yeah. the National Rifle Association and the administration and the president are willing to look at some of those items that are on the table. So we need a comprehensive review of everything that can be done. And then a third point I want to make, the National Rifle Association is the only association organization in the country that provides more gun safety programs than anybody else. And they also have a school safety program called School Shields. But you don't hear anybody talking about that. Right. You hear people talking about the various sound bites, and a sound bite does not produce legislation. A comprehensive review can tighten what's already on the books. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, now you've got all these companies trying to say it's the NRA's yes. fault, uh, which yes. is really unfortunate. Now, this reciprocity bill moving here is also front and center. I spoke with the New York District Attorney last week, Cyrus Vance, and Cy Vance is having this as his key issue, the reciprocity, bringing guns over state lines. Here's what he said about having a gun elsewhere and being able to bring it into New York. Watch. That if people bring their concealed guns where they lawfully possess them from all over the country, they'd be legal here in New York City. And the difference is, West Virginia has, for example, no permit requirement to get a gun. Now, that makes sense for West Virginia. It's a rural environment. But New York City has some of the toughest gun laws in the country because we understand that people with loaded guns in the city is a whole different level of danger than in a rural area. So it doesn't make sense in New York, and the Concealed Carry Reciprocity Act would force New York to abide by the laws of rural states, and it would be madness. What do you think, Herman? I think it's a talking point. Mm. There are a lot of things on the table that the Republicans and the administration and the president and some Democrats can agree on. Why not look at those first and tighten the laws that are already there, including some of the things that people talk about relative to mental health? When you try to put everything on the table, it is a recipe for not getting anything done. This president wants to get something done, and you're going to have to take a comprehensive view rather than trying to legislate based upon a soundbite. But so, so I, I appreciate all of that, but I also know the American public right now is demanding that Congress do something. Nine out of ten Americans are saying do something. And so while we have to look at things more comprehensively, while we have to enforce the, thing, you know, the, the rules that are on the books, they want to see us act as one. They want to see Republicans and Democrats come together and make a compromise at at least something. So where do they start? Lee, you are right. Start with the School Shields program that the NRA already has. Most people don't know what's in that. That is a comprehensive approach, and the NRA has said they will provide that program to any school in America free of charge. But you never hear about that, and the American public doesn't hear about it. I just found out about it yesterday, and that's where they ought to start. And that would give the American people, in my opinion, some comfort that something can be done. Herman, is there an agreement at this point that something does have to happen? I want to throw that also to, to Lee Carter. You say that your, your surveys show this. Is, this. is this a turning point in this whole debate where finally everybody is saying, all right, we have to do something. It's just a question of what's it going to be? 
Well, I believe, I'm sorry, Lee. No, go ahead. I believe that something should be done and something can be done. But start with what we know. Unfortunately, you don't hear any of the rhetoric talking about the things that we already know and the things that we have already done. And as many people have pointed out, enforcement should be a big part of this. Look at enforcement because we had a failure of enforcement more than we had a failure of the laws. And just passing more laws isn't going to do it. So yes, something should be done. But start with what we already know and programs that the NRA already has out there. And let me go back to another point real quick. These companies that are overreacting right. and trying to blame the NRA, that is foolish yeah. because you are now trying to blame the lead organization that supports gun safety all over this country, provides training to anybody that wants it, yeah. and they have a school safety shields program. So it's foolish for them to overreact to the court of public opinion. Yeah, and not only that, but now in your home state, Georgia, the lieutenant governor is threatening to yes. kill a tax cut for Delta Airlines because of that, because Delta cut their discount program for NRA members. That comes the same day that FedEx said it's keeping its NRA discounts, though it also took the unusual step of coming out against the NRA's stance yes. on gun policy. Yes. We can't react to sound bites. And yeah. that's what, unfortunately, some of these airlines and car companies are doing. And the lieutenant governor is saying, wait a minute, we are going to provide some tax breaks for you because you're here, this is your hometown, and you're going to react to the court of public opinion rather than react to facts? I think that is a legitimate issue that he is raising. Yeah. All right. We will leave it there. Herman, great to see you, sir. Thanks so much. Happy to be with you. And don't forget to send me my pancakes. Pancakes on the way, Herman Kane. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you soon, Herman. Thank you.